Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you happen to be. I'm Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net, and this is the Bring Your Worst Show, where I'm helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Man, it's been a minute. Uh, I actually took a big chunk of the summer off, for lack of a better term. Wasn't really off. I wrote another book, which I'll get into in a second. Um, I ended up going to the TED conference, which which I have some stuff on the show at uh, youtube.com slash Brown Damon that I've talked about that, including uh, Adam Grant, shout out to Adam and his great talk that he did on languishing, which ended up being a really popular topic over at the New York Times with the comedy he did. Um, I had some time with my family, so we were able to safely travel and have a small family reunion, which was great. I spoke at the Hippocamp Conference, shout out to Donna and other people that are organizing that over in Lancaster. So it wasn't really time off, but it was time away from y'all. And I come to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I took some Wednesdays off. So if you didn't catch me then, you saw me on Mondays and Fridays. I think I just recorded like my 150th episode. We've only been doing it since December. It is uh, September 22nd, I believe today. We're going. So yeah, thank you for all the support and all the love, all the books you guys have been buying and supporting the show. I had some serious milestones on the show as well. Again, I'm Damon Brown of The Bring Your Worst Show. Today we're going to talk about how to stop working too much. You can imagine that me actually taking a break um, over the summer. I think it's been, uh, I was doing every Wednesday live for, I think it was 10, uh, I think I took 10 weeks off, off. Uh, so most of the summer today, as in like an hour, it's going to be the equinox. So my favorite time of the year. So we're actually going into a new season. Felt like a good time to start. And again, you can catch me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11:30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Usually my Wednesdays are live, but as I mentioned, I've been uh, taking the time off and doing other things, and uh, actually building a lot of content for the show. You're going to see some good stuff on there. I I'll just leave it at that. You're going to see some good stuff on there. You can always subscribe for free at youtube.com slash Brown Damon. You can click the link on there. If you're uh, coming through on Amazon, shout out to y'all. You just go to youtube.com slash Brown Damon and uh, click subscribe. And you'll be able to get it again every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, solopreneur, otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Um, I just did a live event yesterday. Shout out to uh, the Writers Co-op. We did a live event. I think it was literally 12 hours ago. A lot of people came through. Um, I was told the numbers were pretty high. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. So a lot of people came through. We talked about passive revenue streams for freelancers. The replay is right there. I love what uh, Jenny and Wudan are doing over there. They're really trying to change the narrative around the broke freelancer, the broke, broke creator. Uh, I've been a freelancer. It's my 21st year. This, when we hit Labor Day here in America, it was 21 years. And so I've been doing it for a while, but I've had my ups and downs and I've also been able to provide for my family. Um, also been able to live a good life, you know, and still living a good life. Part of that is creating passive income streams. As I mentioned in the in the replay, I have about 48 or so passive income streams, and those are actually getting higher. For uh, passive income, essentially is income that you do not have to work towards to get money from. So a book like uh, my latest book, Build From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World, this is passive income. I created the book once. When you guys buy it, I don't need to create the book again. And I have about probably about five different passive income streams from this one book. So once you create like that, then you're able to, I have two little kids. You're able to spend time with your family or with your partner. You're able to travel. You're able to take care of your bills and then not have to sweat things as much. It is an ideal. It isn't perfect. Uh, but with, uh, um, uh, yeah, again, about four dozen, four dozen, yes, four dozen, <laughs> kind of 48, four dozen passive income streams that I have. Some of them are literally pennies a month. Other ones, I'll get a check for like your low four figures, no lie. And it's like, oh, OK, but it's based on work that I already did. So trying to, to get folks into that mentality, please check it out. Um, and if you want more insight right now, then be sure to check out my playlist that I have at the Bring Your Worth channel, which you're watching right now. Uh, it's my passive income playlist. I think it's just over a dozen or it might be a dozen different videos talking about how you can create passive income, what passive income is, if you want to break it down to the basics and get more insight into um, how you can create a better life 
even if you have a traditional job, I haven't had a traditional job in a very long time, we'll leave it at that. But even if you have a traditional job, we're in the middle of the great resignation, as they say, we'll get into that in a second. You not working too much, part of that is creating things now so you can get paid later. That requires a level of patience, it requires a lot of strategy. I'm a one-on-one -on -one coach, so I do a lot of coaching over at DamonBrown.net. So, but even if you're, you're not going to hire a coach like myself, there's books available, including my book, The Passive Writer with Jeanette Hurt and other things, including this video. And again, the panel I was just on with the Writers Co-op. Be sure and check out both. So I think you'd appreciate that. All right, so our main thing that we're talking about today is how to stop working so hard. <sighs> there's ways that you can work hard. I work hard a lot. My new book coming out called Career Remix. I'll talk about that in a second. That's my 26th book. I'm not that old. <laughs> so, so I'm used to working hard. I'm used to putting in the effort. Nothing wrong with that. Particularly when it comes to passive income, you got to put in the work. But there's a difference between working hard and burning yourself out. Um, I've written about this in my books. Uh, we'll talk about it more today, and including in the upcoming books, I've talked about that. You have to strike some type of balance. You have to. As I talked about in the panel, that again, the link is right there. As, as I talked about in the panel uh, lunchtime yesterday, if you're going to be in the game for, in my case, 21 years, if you're going to be in the game for 42 years, so 21 years from now, you're still going to be seeing me. Hopefully, you know, if I'm still alive, <laughs> if I'm still alive, you're going to be seeing me. If you're looking at that longevity, then you need to come up with some type of system to be regularly productive without burning yourself out. So that's our focus for today. And that's kind of the energy. If you've never watched the show, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash Brown Damon. And we're going to be about a half an hour and we're going to get into it and have some fun. All right. So the first book I would recommend, and I'm going to recommend some books. Forgot to mention that because some of y'all haven't seen the show before. I usually recommend a few books to kind of get you on your way, as well as some free videos that I have available on my channel and elsewhere. So the first book I recommend to kind of get into that mindset Again, with me, my, new, my new book, if I can talk, my new book called Career Remix, Get the Gig You Want Based on the Skills You've Got. This is my new baby. It's my 26th book. Um, it's one of my longest books I've ever written. It's I won't even get into the brass tacks. It's a long book. It's a lot going on in there. And what I tried to do, um, number one, it's a partnership, as you can tell, with Barnes & Noble. So shout out to them. Most of my books have been independent, including my latest one, Built From Now. This one is actually a partnership, so the vibe is different. And what I tried to do, because Barnes & Noble, frankly, has a much bigger audience than I do, you know, because I'm very, very much tailor-made niche, as they say, because I was going to hit a bigger audience and we're talking to a bigger audience with, again, Barnes & Noble through, through their platform and through their stores, um, I was really trying to give an overview of the energy that goes into my coaching. And a lot of that energy, as some of y'all uh, who are watching, who I coach with y'all, the energy is to say, what resources do you have right now? Again, you can see that in Build From Now. It's about resources. What resources do you have right now? How can we maximize them? And how can we get you to where you need to be without having to, frankly, throw away everything else in your life that you consider a priority? Career Remix is about that discussion. It's about the coaching practice. It's about um, finding leverage with the resources that you've got, the toolbox that you currently have, helping you recognize that that's enough. And that's such an important part of the process. So Career Remix will be out January 11th, 2022. So man, what's that, four months from now? Right around the corner, I'm actually uh, lighting up some speaking things, both virtually and in person, knock on wood, as things go along. So you're going to see me in one form or another. And of course, you have the Bring It Work show, where I'll be talking a lot more about that as the book gets closer. But be sure and pre-order, check it out, get it on your favorite platform, Barnes & Noble is preferred. Also, you can get it at your favorite uh, independent bookstore, try bookshop.org. Um, and you can look me up on there if I would have thought ahead of time. I threw the link on there, but you guys know where to find it. If you want more insight into Career Remix, <coughs> excuse me, and, and what I'm talking about in there, watch this recent video about how to avoid these three bad career decisions. It sounds very dramatic, but it's very simple. It's about a 15 minute video. And I talk about as people try to remix their career, as they try to pivot, as they try to move on from one thing to the next thing, there's three errors, including 
man, I think I've made all three of the errors. In fact, I talked about that in the video. I think I made all three. So I've been there. I get it. You're ready to move on to your next thing. Before you say I quit, there's some ideas that you need to work on. Again, as we work on this great resignation, and there's a record number of people that are quitting their jobs. Uh, a lot of people that got let go from their jobs or were put, you know, were um, put on the side because of the pandemic. And they're like, nah, that's okay. I'm good. You need to have some type of strategy, I believe, to get moving forward and to and to take care of your business. And so hopefully this, again, the short video, avoid these three bad career decisions will help you on your way. I know some of my coaching clients is already giving them some insight. So I'm happy to share it with y'all. The next book is called Sparked by Jonathan Fields. Shout out to Jonathan. He's actually the founder of The Good Life Project, which is a very popular podcast, video series, and a podcast. Um, they had a, uh, until the uh, pandemic, they had a, a camp in upstate New York for adults where, where people were able to be creative and insightful. And he's interviewed everybody from um, Brene Brown to, um, I want to say, Adam Grant. I want to say um, Seth Godin, who have you been following the channel, you know, he's a mentor of mine. Um, just everybody under the sun who's making an impact, uh, not only in the creative world, but also learning to be creative in whatever world they happen to be in. This book is a lot of his energy. In fact, it's a, a really good cousin to build from now. If you've been uh, watching the show for a while, you know, I have a quiz. Uh, based on my last book, Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance and Nourish Your World. It's at buildfromnowquiz.com. If you just go and subscribe to the YouTube channel, then you get all the info on that. Or you can visit me at damebrown.net. But it's at buildfromnowquiz.com. He actually found a similar thing in his longtime coaching practice. And he's been a coach and a consultant and a counselor for as long as I've been a freelancer. So well over 20 years, I believe. And so he's broke broken down our energies and the way that we express ourselves into 10 different archetypes, I would call them. And he calls them sparkotypes. Uh, you can learn more again at, a, at if you click on the link and check out his book called Sparked. You can also go to sparkotype.com. I'll throw that, at, uh, that link in there once we get the replay of the YouTube going a little bit later on today. But you can go to sparkotype.com and take his quiz. It's completely free. I think it takes like 10 minutes, really straightforward. I learned a lot. It was great. It was great. And his book just launched yesterday. It's already number one in the job hunting category. So Jonathan's not messing around. I'm so glad that he's getting the um, recognition and support that he deserves. And in fact, um, last week, Jonathan and I had a long conversation and I broke that down into, I think it might be my first live conversation for lack of a better term, where we actually were talking on video. Um, I have one with Cal Newport, who's the author of Deep Work in the recent book, A World Without Email. I interviewed him at the top of the year, I wanna say February, but that was purely audio. You guys can check it out again on the YouTube channel for free. Just look up Cal Newport. Um, and it was again back in February. This one was the first interview and I was honored where we actually talked just like you and I are talking right now. So we talked virtually, we chopped it up for like a half an hour. I took some of the best parts and turned that into two shows that I'm premiering on the Bring Your Worst show. And so, or network, platform, whatever you wanna call it. This is the first one, it premiered on Monday. The next one's actually gonna premiere on Friday. And that one gets even deeper into the Sparkotype. Oh, actually, I see his book right here. See, I like the book so much and it automatically got on my shelf. Here it is, it's Sparked, but I didn't have it. There we go. Awesome book, I really enjoyed it. Be sure and check out the interview that I have um, with Jonathan. The first part is right there. And there's also links to the second part in there. The second part will be live on Friday. All right. So the next book that I'd recommend if you're trying not to work too hard, which Jonathan got into as far as with knowing your work style, knowing where your energy is, and then leaning into that. Another book I would recommend is Subtract. I've been reading this over the summer, so I've been really taking my time by Lenny Klautz. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, Lenny, um, but shout out to you. This is a fascinating book. It's, as you can tell, it kind of has the energy of essentialism, which is also up here. You might be able to tell the, tell the thing up there. Essentialism by Greg McEwen. Um, and it has this energy of what don't you need in your life? Um, if you've been following my work at all, you know, and if I could show my office, there's not much here. I'm very much into taking care of whatever I need, taking care of whatever 
I absolutely desire and the best way possible. And then all the rest can go away. Um, part of that's because of my upbringing, which I talk about in my, in my recent books. But another part of that is because, excuse me, I think you get to a certain point in your life where you're like, I need this, but I don't need that. And as I approach, for me, it's middle age. It's like, you know what? I don't need that anymore. And, and it could be things that are invisible. It could be things like cloud. It could be uh, having a massive email list, which is always a big part of the discussion. I do have a nice email list that joined in, but not me, but it's not massive. It doesn't need to be for me to make the impact. And so it ends up being more about the depth versus the breadth, right? He gets into that. I think it was really refreshing. I wasn't familiar with his work until someone had reached out and recommended the book. I would recommend it. And again, I'm enjoying the book so far and I'm already starting to implement some of the practices in, in there. Um, this actually reminds me of, uh, of one of my earlier videos that I did, let's say again, February, January. So when the show was first starting on how to organize your life right now, it's based on the principle of rocks and um, what is his name? St Stephen Covey. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot his name. Stephen Covey, the legendary uh, leadership consultant and author. He passed away about 10 years ago. Um, probably a little bit further than that. It goes before I really got in the game. So maybe 20 years ago, he passed away. Um, but he has this excellent analogy about rocks. I get into it here. It's priceless. It changed the, the view of, my, of how I viewed my life. So again, I recommend subtract. And then as an appetizer or as a dessert, either before or after you read the book, be sure and check out my video on organizing things. Lastly, I recommend the book Do Nothing by Cecily Headley. Shout out to Cecily. Hope you're doing well. Uh, she's a popular TED speaker. I think she's done definitely one major TED talk. She might have done two, though. But she has one TED talk that's done extremely well about how to talk to anyone. And I think it's worth, worth checking out. I might have been in the audience for that one. But it was a while ago. But it's worth checking out. Anyway, she came out with a new book at the top of the year called Do Nothing. And it's really about how to organize your life in a way so that you can maximize your, I hate to say productivity, but I can't think of a better word, productivity, um, your presence being available by actually allocating time when you're not actually pursuing anything. I talk about this a lot before I even met uh, Celeste or, um, I called her Cecily before, my apologies, before I met Celeste or um, interacted with her, or perhaps even before I, I, I saw her TED talk, it was, uh, I talked about that in Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur, particularly in the trilogy, I talked about that in the Productive Bites as Entrepreneur, where everything is a cycle. I think it's so important to remember that. Um, again, I was doing every Wednesday live with y'all for six, seven months. You see, I have a little bit of, a little bit of allergies going on, so forgive me. But I mean, that's part of the reason why I took a break. And it was interesting where I took this, I was with you all every single Wednesday, 1130 a.m. Vegas time for six, seven months. And then it was like, I was going to the TED conference, shout out to them for inviting me. Um, again, I had time with my family. I was finishing up my book, Career Remix, which would be out in January. All these different things were happening. And I am taking this 10 week break. I think it's about 10 weeks. And now I'm back and things are organized differently. That's what she talks about and do nothing. Like, so I'm trying to ideally model that too and not just talk, talk the talk, but actually walk the walk and say, you know what? Me showing up regularly is important. But what's more important is me being fully present when I do show up. So if I need to take time away, I'm gonna do that. Cecily's book, uh, Celeste's book. <laughs> I know a few Cecily, so I keep screwing up. Celeste's book actually talks about that. So shout out to her. Love your book. Adam Grant gave it a shout out. So shout out to Adam as well. But I did a column that was related to that. And then with the column that I did over at Inc. Magazine, I actually did a video related to it, which got pretty popular. How can I rest when I'm worried about laziness? It's a discussion. And I don't struggle with that as much. <laughs> I'm probably going to take a nap after we do this. Um, but it still is a struggle if you're as ambitious as perhaps I might be. So if you're ambitious, if um, culturally your, your people, you know, whomever your tribe may be, they're not used to taking breaks, if it's frowned upon that you're not always busy, if you kind of buy into, particularly here in America, that um, 
that myth that if you're not always doing something, then there's something very wrong and you're not going to make progress. Then you got a lot of guilt and shame around that, right? And again, I don't have that issue as much. And even I deal with that guilt and shame. I felt ashamed that I wasn't able to be with y'all every Wednesday and keep that streak up. But I also knew I'd be away for Ted and all these other things. And I also knew I needed to recharge. So important. You have to know where your limits are. So hopefully this gave you some insight. Again, I'm uh, here every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 1130 Pacific Standard Time. I think the lives are back on. We'll see. But it's good to be back live with y'all. You can always subscribe for free to the Bring Your Worth channel at uh, youtube.com slash Brown Damon. Click the link, or if you're on Amazon, shout out to y'all. Just go to youtube.com slash Brown Damon and just hit subscribe. Be sure and support. If you're liking the content, throw something in the comments, share with other folks. As I always say, if you want to get there fast, as they say, go alone. If you want to get there well or better, then you want to go in as a, as a group. So as you share this video or other videos or, or the content or even the books and other things that I'm recommending with other people, you are creating your own tribe. And I think that's so essential. All right. So until next time, remember, you can always bring your worth and you can always build from now. Take care.